Peace and plants, family. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. So I just did a beautiful lecture with the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society, and I had some really, really great questions um, that were asked, uh, and they were about classroom plants. They were about the best classroom plants. What kind of a plant can I use for my classroom? And a certain uh, sector of plants I definitely spoke about, as you see here, our succulents. And these are some agave. These are different cultivars of agave. Um, you guys may have heard of agave nectar. Uh, there are so many succulents that you can use for a classroom project, for a classroom plant that can withstand the fluctuation in temperature, uh, the fluctuation in air quality, a lot of different things, right? Humidity. Succulents are an amazing, amazing, look at these beautiful succulents. Um, and when you do the knowledge and you understand, you're like, whoa. And this is just one group of plants that I talked about. See some cacti here as well. You would be surprised. I'm letting you know. Very, very beautiful plants. And you want to be very careful with the cacti. So I kind of geared toward uh, succulents. You definitely want to be careful with that if you're a teacher and you want to incorporate plants in your classroom design. Always think about that. So there's several other plants, right? We have philodendron. We have uh, so many different kinds of plants that uh, would love a classroom setting. I love a classroom setting. So again, this is just one group. I spoke about cacti and succulents, more so the succulents for the safety of the children and a proper lesson, right? So let's just step back and check out the beauty. Check out the other videos we have on uh, monastery plants.